Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. It's going to be a good visualize, visualization for today, and the reason being is, is I've got both side panels framed up and, and mounts made to mount them on the truck. I've got a brand new sheet of 18 gauge here. That's basically what I use full time is the 18 gauge. But we're really going to change the look of the trucker today. And what I'm going to show you right now is I showed you how I mounted the grill on. we got a rubber washer down there. Um, I, don't, I explained that yesterday how I did that. Um, when we did the yesterday, we put this one on. We framed that up. It didn't take long to frame that up and put that together. Um, I cut the welds off, it pulled it off, and I welded it on the back side. Didn't bother doing it on the front side because we're going to weld a flat sheet of metal on it. Uh, do, it does not be, need to be welded on both sides, I don't think, um, because I'm going to be facing it on this side. But when I cut it off, then I had to put it back on and mess with it. And the reason I had to mess with it because I had to make mounts. Um, you can see how it's mounted if Julie wants to come around this side. You, my darling, Jolene looks amazing today. As always, got her hair all straightened and wow. Anyways, I better stop that or I won't get nothing done. Um, so you can see how I drilled a hole in here. I welded a nut on the flat stock. I drilled a hole down there. I welded a nut on the flat stock. I had a couple little mounts, or not say mounts, a couple little tabs that you can get from Speedway. You can buy tabs. I had, I had five of those tabs. I used four of them up front. I got one tab there one tab down there. Uh, my bolts that I use are a little too long and I'm going to end up cutting them off. But I mount them tabs on the red support uh, to mount that um, panel for the side. That's how I mounted that. So I've got them all mounted on now. So when I did the other side I got smart. I, I mounted the flat stock on the truck uh, and I did not cut it off. I left it on there I drilled my hole and then I put my bolt through and then I welded it to the flat stock. Drilled my hole, put my bolt in, welded it to my flat stock. I put my tab, I screwed my tab on my bolt. I put my tab in on my red port, my radiator sh drill shell, and then I stuck it on, I tacked it on, then I welded my uh, bolt to my flat stock, my construction for my side panel. And then when I cut it off, it was completed. It was easier to do it this way to complete the whole thing, make all the mounts before I took it off. And I learned that from the first one. Um, there was no reason to take it off until I got them mounts done. But I did not know where I was going until I got there, <laughs> basically. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a nut off this. They're fitting good or not bad. I mean, we got some, you know, they're not fitting bad. A little tight right there. You can see I got a marker there. But that can be figured out. I'll probably end up smoothing it off with a flapper wheel, but that sort of can be figured out as I'm putting the face of it on, the 18 gauge. It can be, so I'm just going to pull this one off. We're going to try to make two side panels, or, uh, two side panels, um, the metal, and sheathe them, and then put them back on so we can get a visual to see what the, the truck is starting to look like. That's what we're going to do. Just for me and you. And if I can get this one off. So the side panels would be bolted on full time. And the and the the hood will be what you'll remove if you have to fix anything or repair anything or check the oil or anything at all. That's what, what's gonna happen there. And you can take the side panel off, but you're just you're gonna have to have a 7 16 wrench and to pull it off. So now you can see I've got a tab welded there, tab welded down there, and a hole drill here and a hole drill there. I had, when, when I took this off and welded it all up on the back side, you can see where I got it all welded. <clears throat> Frog just jumped into my throat. I got it all welded on the back side, and then I did not weld it on the front side. So then I had to put it back on and then start trying to drill holes to do it that way. Like I said on the other side, I got smart and did it that way. Let's put this on here. I've got a couple rims underneath of this thing um, to, to get where I'm going. I've got, I'm going to take and actually buzz that off before we even start. I've got a line there. I'm going to buzz that off. I'm going to buzz it off. Why not?
And you can see I rounded the corners here. I rounded the corner there, rounded the corner there. I put a little weld in the corner there so when the panel's made and put on, it looks good. So I'm going to use, I'm going to cut my, I'm going to get a couple C-clamps first just to hold it in place. I'm going to use the straight edge because why would we not? Let's check it out this way, see what happens this way. I'll get one this way and I'll use that one for that one. That straight edge. Okay, we got a straight edge going on here. Line that up. Now, got me selfie marker. It's going to be a good visual to see it with the side panel on it. In my opinion, In my opinion is like a belly button. Everybody's got one. read than that. And if there's anything that doesn't fit good, you add a little weld, take a little weld off, so on and so forth. Let's do it. Bum, 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 bum. Do I want to? I can cut it with the plasma cutter. I can cut it with the grinder. I have a wheel underneath here. And if I cut that there, I'll be cutting the wheel. Don't want to cut the wheel. Get it a little bit further. Uh, hmm. Ouch, hurt my shoulder. I did it hurt my shoulder. Just gonna put that underneath there. there. I think I will use the plasma cutter just so uh, less noise. But you can use whatever you want to cut it. Put it in there. We need an air hose. Uh, making the side panel went fairly quick. Uh, on the other side, it went fairly quick on the first side, and uh, it did not take much to put that together. There was no, what can I say, there was no um, no real measuring going on. It was just placing, uh, placing the metal where it fit, eyeing it up for the gap, that sort of stuff. That's basically, that's all had to be done there, and uh, it went fairly easy. I figure anybody could do that. And the easiest thing to do is to make the mounts before make the mounts before you take it off. I'm going to do it this way. See it for a second? I can see now. I can see. Now. I don't 
think the tire's there. Have to take a look. Not interested in having the rubber fire. Nope. I can do that one by hand because I'm bad shape. Now, we have a little bit of slag going on. Let's get a hammer and knock it off. Flapper will do the exact same thing, but I like to take it off with the hammer because it just seems to come off easy. Sorry, Fina, did I interfere in your laying down? Let's take this, let me shut that off for a second. We'll take this to the flapper. We can grind it, to, we get a little line going on there. We'll show that down. Oh, cut my line off, I did. That's a boo-boo on my part. I can still see it somewhat. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that drive fell crazy. All right. Get up off the floor here. All right. Now I've got the piece done. I am going to, we're going to pull that piece over this side. We're going to clamp it all down with some C clamps. And we're going to apply it to the, the outside construction of the side panel. That's what we going to do. That's what we going to do. I want to thank everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. We really do. It's a warm day here in Nova Scotia today. It's supposed to be 11 degrees. And uh, that is warm for uh, calling it winter, in my opinion. Alrighty. I guess it does not matter which one we call the front, just as long as we get it to fit. We're going to C-clamp this bad boy on. We're going to tack it on really tight and right. I'd like to, I really would. This is what I'm probably going to do. It would be nice that it was short a little bit. And what I mean by short, you can see how if I come right to the edge, I like to see it be a little bit shy to the eye. I like that right there. And the reason being is I like that because I like it. And then we'll shave off the ribs. It's kind of a, it's kind of too bad. I kind of cut it a little too big. 
gives t put, puts it a little bit more work in it does. But I'm going to have to go around and grind that with the flapper wheel to actually to get it fit right. It's not bad there. And the reason being, I want it back a little bit, so I got a place to, for the weld to be. And that's okay. We'll, we'll go with it from there. The two ends is the most important. Let's tack it on. And we'll just, we'll just shave it back with the flapper wheel and uh, we'll do it that way. I'm thinking that we're all the way on right. That's good enough for now. Everything's covered. You can see how we're shy there. I don't mind that a bit because we'll be able to put some weld on top of that and get it. That's what I want. I'm ready. Let's do it. Now I need a ground. Sometimes it's good to be grounded. All the time, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along here, clamp this on. Got it. This way here, I know it's tight. And I'll try to keep the same distance. Just so it looks nice. You can see where the weld's going here. Where the weld's going. And there's a little, little. you can see this right here? See the metal on the top? Then I got a place for the weld to go when I grind it off flat. If I grind weld it right on the edge, well then I'm, I'm building up the edge of the... I'm building up the edge of the gap that I had. I want to build up the edge of the gap. Should have cut this a little bit shy. Wasn't thinking that at the moment, but I caught on. Take a little bit, but I catch on. Yeah, I'm going to take the flapper wheel, knock that back a little bit. I just laid that back a little bit, and all that did is make that thin, so the weld can go in there. And what I mean by thin is I've angled it off. You can see, watch the angle, how it's angled off there. I can weld it on top of that, and it'll, boy, it'll go right where I want it. do that yet but I have to grind that off slap or wheel that down and we will we will we will weld this all the way around uh, all the way around the whole edge and the way we'll do it no doubt in my mind I'll explain that as I get going Here. 
Just trying to get this to rock and roll here. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Alrighty. So, let's go back. I just laid it back so I can place the weld on top of the square stock. That's nice over here. You can see this side here. You can see how the metal, you see it? Okay, I can't tell you. You get a better view than I do. You can see the metal's back a little bit. That gives me room for the weld, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna weld it. And we're gonna buzz the bottom off. I got two to do, that's why I'm going for it. This side and just keep rocking with it. I ground the bit off the top, did I not, before I started this? And I think I did, did I? Angled off on a 45, you can see how I got that angled off, and the reason I angled it off is I want somewhere for the weld to go. I keep saying that, but... That's, that's what I'm doing. Alrighty. This up top here. Actually, I'm gonna do this.
Nice. You can see where it's nice on that edge. You got a place for the weld to go. I'm just gonna push this over towards you. So I'll weld it. Up a little bit further, it doesn't. So we're gonna have to grind it back. There's the issue with the three prong grinder thing. Every everything that I have connected to it, I gotta pull. So I gotta what I get is an octopus of a mess. And that's why sometimes I don't use them things. Probably most of the reason why I don't use them. Feels good. Feels good. Now, I have that all welded on there. No warps in it whatsoever. We got a nice, tight, controlled panel because that's being pulled down to the, the flat stock all the way around. Jolene made a suggestion earlier. Uh, she said to me, she said, could you integrate one of those side panels? So if I wanted, if I wanted those lines in that side panel, yes, I could. I could, after I get that put on there, I could take and make a cut and, and put those in there, cut a shape out and, and stick that in there, weld that in there and grind it off. You could butt weld it in. Yes, you could. Lay it right on top, zip cut it and, and weld it right in. You could do the exact same thing with those ones there, but we're going to make our own. And then the reason being is because we have um, that sort of stuff. Uh, we can bead roll it like the side of the truck like this. Uh, not bead roll it or step roll it. So we can step roll it, we can bring a panel out uh, on the side of that, we can bring the panel in, uh, we can make a louver, we can put louvers in it, we can step it out and put louvers in it. There's so many things that you can do that it's fun to do stuff like this because there's just so many different ways of doing it and uh, that's why I enjoy it. But we're going to get a, a little different look at this truck uh, now that we put the side panels on it. We got this one basically side paneled up it's not complete yet by no means by no means we're going to stick this bad boy on and you can see here why i would not want to put the weld down on on the flat stock because if i do that well then i'm changing the gap that's what i'm doing where i've laid it back and tried to put the weld on top of the flat stock i'm not changing the gap i am leaving the gap the same so we're going to put this side on 
I gotta cut them bolts off yet. And everything is just kind of getting mocked up here, like slowly. Does it still fit? Woo boo boo, it still fits. It still fits. Get a nut on here. Hold my tongue right. Get my one down here and put on. So I'll be able to pull them really in, really tight and right. These ones are long up front here. I'm gonna have to cut them off. That's okay. We still got a good gap going on. Beautiful gap. I still got a good gap going on there. I gotta stand back and take a look at it myself. Right on, cool. So now that we have that on there, I'm gonna go for the other side. We'll get that going. Um, Yes, Fina. All right, let's get the other side off and we'll go for that one. Then we'll really get it looking like something. Okay, nothing on that one, nothing on that. I'm just gonna pull this one off. This one was so much easier the way I done it, I left it. Might not be easier getting off, but. Uh, it was so much easier um, leaving it on and welding the, the bolts on with it on there like that. It was so much easier. So you can picture it, it's a nice side panel there. There's no warpage in it, it's, it's nice and tight and right. The gaps are right. Uh, the grill shell looks good on it. All right, I'm happy with it. All right, let's get some C-clamps over here again. We could put 20 louvers in it, we can put six louvers in it, we can put seven louvers in it, we still can get the side panel in uh, the step roller. We gotta put fenders on it yet, it's kind of really making, yeah, it's cool. Alrighty. I'm going to pull all this back. I'm going to put this underneath this. Put that there. Hmm. I've got a wheel right here that's holding the metal up for me. Maybe I can do that in the middle. Just kind of want to get it up off the floor so I can I don't actually put it there until I cut it. How's that? Put it there until I get it cut and get it marked. I'm just gonna go a little bit beyond or take it a little bit. Yeah, so I don't have to use so much flapper wheel. Do that trick all over again where we cut it with the plasma cutter. Get my gloves on. Give 
must admit, that was an easy way to make a side panel for that and then trying to hold a pattern up and cardboard and all that stuff. It was an easy way. down there but Pit on there to hold the metal. Pull that Cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. A little slag off. So doing this front grill shell and side panels could relate to any Model A or Model or whatever you want, model whatever you ever you want to make your own side panels. It applies to them all. And the reason being is because they all uh, could be done the same, no matter what it is. I'm just going to leave that. Let's put that there for a second. Get this flat wheel off. There's that. <laughs> Take a look. That's what happens when you get them three prongers. You got three tools tied to them, and they end up becoming a. What you do is you just tug a little harder, and then what happens in the end, you unplug it. <laughs> but it's all it's all. Over. Yeah. 
apply this, this up here. Hoping that we get a little bit, a little better on this one than we did the last one. And what I mean by that, uh, it doesn't not matter. That went quick. Um, taking that angle that off, just kind of angled off so it was thinner, so I could get penetration on it. We're going to go over this side first, where it's a straight edge. I'm going to take a look at this edge. We're just going to pull it this way a little bit, just a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, you ask me. Pretty darn good. Let's get the old welder going. Long, you forget. Flapper wheel that off. Gonna have to flap her wheel off. Not much, but a little. Just a little bit.
Beautiful. You are Jolene. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a little quite a bit off there, but that's the game I played. Now you can see up here, I've got a bigger gap or more of the flat bar showing. And that what that means is, is I have to run the weld from the sheet metal to the end of the flat bar. I just can't weld it and stop. I have to weld it all the way over to that edge in order to grind it off and make it look nice. Not a big deal, but it's something that you should remember as you're doing it. What will happen if you don't, it, when you grind it off, you'll get an unfinished look. Don't want an unfinished look. Next look. grind a little bit off. On this part right here, you can see how it's over like that. I have to bring it all the way to the edge now to have something to grind off and make it look right. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to, um, this is the pan, I'm going to put this one on this side. Now the secret to how, not the secret, um, how we are going to weld them up, and even Jolene probably will weld them up, she asked me if she could, and I, yeah man, you can weld them up just as, better, just as well as I can, or maybe even better, but as we weld them up, I would lay it against the wheel, we'd lay both against the wheel, and we'd weld this one, this one, and this one, and this one, because the heat will rise up. We'll have two of them sitting there. We'll have one sitting here, one sitting beside it. So you'll go bop, 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 all the way up that one, bop, 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 all the way up that one, and then you'll go to this one, bop, 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 all the way up. And then when we weld this part, 
we'll turn them like this and we'll weld this one, this one, this one. Well, no, we won't without weld that one there because the heat would come up there probably, but we'll weld that one that way. That way. So every, every line that we weld, we'll make sure that we're coming up so the heat rises up. If I go and weld this along here like this, crossed here, then I have a chance of the heat getting in here and distorting it. If I turn it over and I weld it this way, then I have a chance of the heat distorting all this. If I weld all this down here, it has a chance of distorting that. So what we'll do is we'll keep to the edges. And that way there we have less uh, chance of distorting anything. We've taken some time to make them. Um, we do not want to ruin them. Let's put it on. And uh, what can I say? Um, this, this job here, it takes a little bit to get where you're going, but it is very satisfying, I guess, when you get there. I need to drill that hole just a little bit better down the bottom. I'm gonna take this one off. Boy, just need a little bigger hole I need. There we go. We'll put it in that way. That way there, um, I can move the grill shell to get it where I need to go. If you know what I'm saying. Come on, baby. There we go. Now we're on this side. Now we're rocking and rolling. I'm not going to put any nuts on it, but you can see we've got a nice gap going down the grill shell in the front. We've got a nice gap going on the back of it. Now we're getting ready for the hood. Um, that didn't, wasn't a whole long time. Now we put a new grill on it. We put two new sides on it. Now we're gonna put a hood on it. And right now as we got the truck jacked up, um, it might, might look to you like a little bit funny, but it's not. Once we let that down, the hood's gonna come down on the front quite a ways. We're up on jack stands. Uh, once we get the hood made and get that figured out, and then we're onto the running boards and the fenders. Well, we'll probably end up doing the cutouts for the feet first. So you come back tomorrow, we'll make a hood for it. We'll, we'll tie these down or we'll nut these on so the red sport is or the red, red shell is where it's supposed to be. We'll nut these up nice and tight and right. We've got a nice, if you want to come take a look, sweetheart, if you want to look down the side of these panels, they're very nice going down the side. You can even if it was in a little bit with that flat bar on it you could adjust it so it had a nice shape to it we got a nice shape going on there um, yeah it worked out really good and it fits the headers really good we got a nice gap between all the headers uh, we wanted to keep those on there for that hot rod look we're, we're the fastest delivery oil company in the world and we're going to um, let you know what oil company we're going to do after a bit we'll see what happens Thank you very much for coming back. Thank you for all the nice comments. We appreciate it. We're getting a different look all the time, and that's what it's all about. If you like what's going on, give it a like. If you want to share it, that'd be great. Um, if you want to comment, that'd be awesome. And if you want to know, let someone know to subscribe, that'd be absolutely wonderful. And the reason being is, it'll give someone else something to do if they got nothing to do with their time for a little bit, and then watch Bad Chad and Queen Jolene build an oil truck. Oh. I want to show you one more thing before you take off. Almost forgot. I went outside and uh, found some wire spoke wheels. Uh, it's got six bolt on the front end and we got a five bolt on the rear end. Not sure why, but it's probably because we had to and that's what we had. But I found some six bolt wires out there. So now we're going to putting some wires on it. You can still see it's got the remnants of the pine trees out back. And uh, we thought that was a mouse in the house, but it's not. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back, and come on back tomorrow. We'll be here.